Hello friends, welcome to BISPTrainings.com. My name is Sumit and in today's video, I'm going to demonstrate you how can we send email using Jenkins. In my previous video, I explain how can we schedule a job or how can we set up a job and schedule it up to for a certain period. In continuation of that, I would like to send an email to the registered user whether that job has been completed or not so if any if any failure happens so the Jenkins will quickly send an in email to the users that the build has been failed and you need to take an appropriate action on that task so I'm going to continue from the existing from the existing part so I switch back to Jenkins interface and here that was the job which we configured which we set up in the previous video so I click on configure and as you can see here a lot of build or the task will be going on because I set up a schedule for that particular task so I have already removed that schedule otherwise it will keep moving on it will keep going on so as you can see here I have already uncheck that build periodically option so build periodically option it will help us to schedule a task and it will repeat a task up to a certain time after a certain interval so the, my, my next requirement is I would like to send an email by using Jenkins so I scroll down and look for this section which is known as post build actions so I click on this post build actions and in this post build actions we have when I drop down when I click on this list or this com this uh, pick list there are various options and editable email notification email notification and so on so I select email notification this email notification here we need to specify the recipients who will be going to receive the email so I enter my mail ID so that this recipient will be informed that the mail uh, the that build has been failed if you expand this it will help you to know more about this email notification that the Jenkins will send out an email to the specific recipient when a certain important event occurs so these are the four events when the email will be sent or this email notification will be running so the first one is every failed build trigger a new email will be sent to the recipient a successful build after a failed build trigger a new email indicating that a crisis is over and unstable unstable build after a successful build trigger a new email indicating that there are regression and unless configured every unstable build trigger a new email indicating the regression is still there so these are the four event that whenever any one of this event occurs it will send an email to the recipient so i click on it back so it will collapse again and i send an email for every unstable unstable bill send separate email to individual who broke the build so this is how we can configure for this email recipient so when I apply and save it it will be saved successfully but this step is not complete even if I build it now it will not in it will not send an email let's take an example if I click on build now it will not it the process will build the process has been built successfully if I click on this process and look for the console output I can see the output you can see the finished as a success the issue which I'm talking about is if I make if I made some changes into it let's suppose I configure this and on bill I enter the wrong command let's suppose I pass wrong command and hash version and save it so that's a wrong command and now if I click on build now it will throw an error message so you can see it in it's indicating that the process has been failed and if I expand and look at the console output it says the failure 
it says the failure now if I re if I get back to my mail ID so you can see here I haven't received any email in my mailbox the mail ID which I have configured over there which I mentioned over there this is because we only did the half of the part now the rest of the part would be completed we need to set up an email server we need to configure email server within Jenkins so I click on Jenkins click on manage Jenkins so now we are going to configure the mail server for our Jenkins so manage Jenkins and here we select this part configure system so I click on configure system and when we configure system I scroll down scroll down and look for email settings so I scroll down and there is a section named as email notification so we need to configure this email notification so I'll set here in email notification I enter the SMTP server so for Gmail the SMTP server is smtp.gmail.com so you need to find out what would be the SMTP server for your mail server because in my case I am using Gmail so for Gmail the SMTP server is smtp.gmail.com if you use Yahoo or Hotmail or any other mail server so you you need to first check your SMTP mail server and the port number so once I specify the SMTP server click on advance in advance I check for use SMTP authentication this use SMTP authentication will help us to validate by using this mail server so I check this option and as soon as I checked it it asked me to enter username and password so I specify here my username my mail server username and password then I check us use SSL we need to specify the port number so for Gmail the port number is 465 reply to address so I'll say no reply at the rate gmail.com and leave it as it is so I check this button test configuration by sending email and I'm going to send an email just for just for testing I just mentioned my mail ID here so as you can see here I have mentioned my personal mail ID this is my official one so this is this mail ID and this email ID is different so this will help us to identify whether the mail servers are mail is the mail configuration is working or not so after I specify this I click on test configuration so we need to click on this button test configuration so after I click on test configuration button I got a confirmation message that the email was successfully sent now let's go back and check to my mailbox whether I received any email or not so I get back to my mailbox So you can see here I got a message address not configured or this is test mail this is just for testing mail so when I click on this you can see the message is coming from summit.goal.bispetrainings.com and it is sent to this mail ID thus the subject is test mail 4 and the message is this is test email 4 sent from Jenkins it means the mail server has been configured successfully. So the mail configure has been the mail server has been configured successfully here. So now let's get back to the Jenkins and I click on save. So it's configured successfully. Now let's test whether it's working or not. So I again get back to BISP test job. Click on configure and this time let's check the text so it's already okay it's already the so now let's test it again so I click on save that's the existing code that's the same code so I 
I simply save it and I'm going to build it now. So I click on build now. And as soon as I click on build now, because the build has got a wrong syntax, so definitely it will throw an error message. So let it finish and then we'll have a look. So you can see I've got a message as required. So I click on console output and I see if the message has got a failure. Now let's go and check mailbox. So in my mailbox, when I refresh my mailbox, I got a new message named as build fails in Jenkins and BISP test job hash 17. So you can see the test job is 17. So back to project and you can see the hash 17. Hash 17. And if I expand it, if I open it, you can see the same message which we have received in our Canva uh, build. And also, if the user who will be receiving this email when he click on the link which appears in this, which is added in this error failure email, so if the user clicked on this link, he will be redirect to that error message. He would be able to see this job failure and he would can, he can see the console output. so it will redirect it will take us to this console output so that's how we can schedule and that's how we can send an email by using Jenkins same thing we can schedule it so for scheduling this we need to get back to our project we need to expand our project in project we need to click on configure and then we need to build the environment sorry in in build triggers i click on build periodically and then we need to configure this so to know more about scheduling you can go to my existing video in that video i have demonstrated i have explained how can we schedule a job after a certain interval so after a certain interval whenever any whenever that job executes whenever that job runs and if if there is an error in that job if the build is failed it will quickly inform to the registered user so that's all in this video if you have any queries you can write to us on www.bisptraining.com you can subscribe our youtube channel keep watching have a nice day goodbye